Customer Portal Dashboard. The dashboard is the landing page of your Customer Portal account. It serves three main purposes. One, apply for permits or estimate permit fees. Two, monitor existing permits. Or three, manage your account. You can initiate a new permit application using Apply for a Permit on the dashboard. The Customer Portal application form is user-friendly and asks simple questions to collect the information. You can also estimate fees from this section. The Estimate Fees function also uses a series of simple questions to collect the information to build an estimate. It requires less information and is faster to complete than a full permit application. Estimates are saved and the information can be transferred to a permit application at a later date. There are four tabs on the dashboard to allow you to manage different aspects of your permits. The tabs are My Inspections, My Activities, My Projects, and My Businesses. To view the information in the tab, simply click on the tab. In My Inspections, you can see all previous inspections requested and retrieve issued permits. The tab allows you to manage and monitor issued permits. The information in the tab is searchable and serves as a record of inspections and their outcome. The My Activities tab contains a record of all permits currently in the application process. You can see the application status in the Status column. As the permit moves through the application process, the status will change. This allows you to monitor the progress of the application online. When the permit status becomes issued, the ability to request inspections is enabled and you will see the link to initiate the request in the far right column of the permit. Once a request inspection is initiated, the permit is tracked in the My Inspections tab. The information is searchable, so if you have multiple permit applications, you can easily locate a specific permit. In the future, the tab will also contain information on planning applications, address change requests, and business licensing. The My Projects tab contains information on current projects. A project is a grouping of related permits. For example, a pool permit might have related lock rating, fence, and deck permits. These permits are frequently grouped together as they are all related to the same project. Similar to the My Activities tab that tracks permits, it allows you to monitor your group of permits at the project level. You can manage projects in this tab including creating new projects, adding related permits to existing projects, and tracking progress of the project as a whole. Like the previous tabs, this tab is searchable and sortable. The My Businesses tab is not currently enabled and does not relate to permitting. The Navigation Taskbar at the top of the dashboard allows you to manage your account and payments, search your account, change profile information, and return to the dashboard using the Home button. The Home button returns you to the dashboard page from other pages within the portal. Each button is described on the following slides. The Search button in the navigation bar opens a window listing common search types. The top half of the page is related to permitting. It also lists searches for planning applications which will not be enabled until Release 3 and Business Licenses which will be enabled in Release 2. The Pay button opens a window showing you all outstanding fees. If you do not pay at the time of application, the application is saved as a draft until payment is made. You can select the permits you wish to pay for individually or multiple permits at a time. Paying for permits using this page does not automatically submit the permit. It is important to note if you choose to pay using this function instead of during each application, you must go back into each permit after payment 
and submit each application individually. Online applications can be paid for by credit card only. The My Payments button opens a window displaying the customer's payment history. From here, the customer can see when the permits were paid and how much they paid. If a customer has never made a payment through the customer portal, a red message stating that they have not made payments yet will appear. The information in this window can be saved as an Excel file and used for accounting and invoicing purposes. Like all previous pages, the information is searchable and customers can narrow the search by date range if required. The Profile button opens a window where you can manage your profile information, including changing your password and contact information. From this window, you can opt into notification email and action completion email. It is highly recommended for communications on the status of your permit applications and issued permits. Notification emails alert you to visit the customer portal to see any change or request an action on your permit. Completion emails are sent to customers to acknowledge the permit has advanced to the next stage of the process. Customers must have at least one mailing address and one phone number identified. At the bottom of the window is the My Contractor section. All contractors must first have a customer account. The My Contractor section of the customer account is where those of you who work as contractors can create and manage your contractor profile. All contractors must be registered with a contractor profile before they can be listed as a contractor on a permit. A contractor profile can be set up in two ways. One, contractors can associate to an existing company using a company-issued PIN. Associating to an existing company would be used, for example, if you are an employee or are subcontracting through the existing company. You can only associate with one company as a contractor at a time. Associating with a company allows you to apply for permits as a contractor on behalf of your clients or to apply for permits on behalf of the company you work for. Please note, contractor association is not the same as hiring or identifying a contractor to do the work on your permit. Two, alternatively, you can register your own contracting company. The Register New Contractor function will be used to create the new contractor profile. If you work as a contractor, you will need to register your company using the Register as a New Contractor button. All contractors must first have a customer account. You create and access your contractor profile using your customer account. With a contractor profile, you can apply for permits as an individual. For example, if you are building a deck on your home, you would apply for a permit as a homeowner. You can also apply for permits as a contractor on behalf of your clients. For example, if you are building a deck for a client and applying for the permit on behalf of the client. At a minimum, contractors must supply a company name and phone number. The person who creates the initial contractor profile will automatically be designated as the contractor account manager and will be provided with the company PIN. This can be changed at a later date. PINs are supplied to your employees and subcontractors so they can associate with the company as previously described. Licenses are only required for right-of-way contractors. The Sign Out button will close the customer portal and return you to the login page. There are no additional prompts. There is no help menu in the customer portal. Customers will have access to a lot of information on the HRM website including tips and tricks around common technical issues such as not to use Explorer to launch the customer portal. If customers require support applying for permits, 
they can refer to the information on the website or contact 311 to create a service request. Planning and development staff will then contact you. To reset passwords, customers will use the built-in password reset function that triggers the security question provided during account registration. If customers encounter difficulty using the customer portal that cannot be resolved following tips on the website, you can call Planning and Development for assistance. This will most likely be for atypical technical issues that require vendor assistance. For common technical issues, customers would be directed to the tips and tricks available on the website. We've covered a lot of material here. We talked about the two activities that could be done from the dashboard, apply for permits and estimate fees, and the four tabs on the customer dashboard, my inspections, my activities, my projects, and my businesses. We also covered the navigation bar and touched on the contractor association function. In summary, the customer dashboard is the main page for the customer portal. The home button will bring you back to this page from any other pages in the system. You can create new permits and estimate fees, access the navigation bar, and open the permit tabs from the dashboard. The tabs allow management and monitoring of permit application, projects, and inspections. Recognizing that high volume users and contractors may require payment history information, my payments can easily be saved as an Excel file for accounting and invoicing purposes. We encourage all customers to have a customer portal account.